Are you interested in a recipe that no kid will turn down? Well, stay tuned. Hey guys, Sarah here from Work Life Glue. Welcome to another daycare day video where I talk about anything daycare related. Um, and on our channel, we post all kinds of things from time management to motherhood, parenthood, organizing, um, financial videos, and we just talk about how we glue work and life together one piece at a time. It's messy, but it's our life, and we love to share it with you guys as well as vlogs. But I also run an in-home daycare, so every Friday I do a daycare day video where I talk about something daycare related, and I like to throw in recipes from time to time. So today I'm gonna be doing another recipe video. My last recipe video was a chicken pot pie muffin video that a lot of you guys liked and my daycare kids absolutely love. So I thought I would do another muffin video that my kids really love and this is called corn dog muffins. Now this is super duper simple, it's easy, it's pretty few ingredients, all the ingredients you need are right here. Um, and the kids love it and the reason I do a corn dog muffin instead of just like a corn dog is for many reasons first of all when you buy corn dogs pre-made a lot of times they have fillers and stuff like that this way I know what's going into the corn dog muffins I can pick what kind of hot dogs I want to use that are like not full of junk and also with little kids one of the the two main things that kids tend to choke on are grapes and hot dogs so by doing it this way I can cut up the hot dogs really small so they're not a choking hazard whereas if you bite into a regular corn dog you're biting in big chunks and kids can choke on them so that's just a little disclaimer of why I like to do it this way plus it's fun and it's really easy and the kids could even help so to make corn dog muffins all you're gonna need is a cornbread mix I use the Jiffy mix and um, you're just gonna need whatever it says on the package as well as hot dogs so my package needs eggs and milk and then I also use hot dogs I love Hebrew National they don't have all the extra junk um, and so that's all you're really gonna need so gather your ingredients and let's get started the very first thing I'm gonna do is just chop up some hot dogs like many of my recipes I just kind of wing it um, with stuff like this so I'm gonna do um, this makes six to eight muffins I'm gonna try to make eight um, but since you add the hot dogs you could carry it out a little bit further but I'm gonna try to do like half a hot dog per muffin, so that would be four hot dogs for eight muffins. So I'm just gonna cut them up really small. So I usually cut them in half and then half again and then cut them um, the other way really small. And while you're getting them ready, you can also preheat your oven to 400 degrees. That's what my cornbread mix says, but just go by whatever your cornbread mix says. If you do like a homemade one or whatever, just do whatever that recipe calls for for the oven. Okay, once you have those cut up, you can just set those aside. Um, and like I said, this makes um, up to eight muffins, but you could make them a little bit smaller if you have more kids, or you could like double the recipe and just make cornbreads for cornbread muffins for supper with the extra for your family or just like a cornbread put in a, a loaf pan or something for your family for supper or just save it and do something else with it um, or you could just do eight and then if you have littler kids do something else for them that's what I typically do because these are pretty messy that is one thing I have to say about these um, but if you teach the kids to like pick it up and eat it like a muffin it's not quite so bad Okay, so once you have your hot dogs cut up, you're just going to make your cornbread mix according to the instructions on your box. So mine actually has corn muffins. It says one package of corn muffin mix in here, one egg, and then a third of a cup of, a mil of milk, and you just mix it all together. Okay, and once that's mixed, I just add my hot dogs to the bowl. Okay, so after that, it will just look something like that. And then you're going to take a muffin tin, like so. And instead of spraying them, which you can do, I like to use the actual cups. I just think it makes it a lot less messy. Um, and kids love to peel them, so that's always fun too. So, I'm 
we'll see i'm gonna put eight but we'll just see how far the mix takes us and then you're gonna um this says to fill them two-thirds full so i'm just gonna go off of that for these but i think they'll probably go a little further because i have the hot dog in there Yeah, I definitely have enough um, to make a couple more, which is awesome. Okay, and then just go off of whatever your um, cornbread mix says. It says on mine to bake for 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown. So I'm going to put them in for 15 minutes and see how they are. Okay guys, I ended up baking mine for 18 minutes, but just depends on your oven um, and how it cooks. But these look awesome. They are golden brown. They have the hot dogs inside. You could um, like at the very end put ketchup on top if you want, kind of like you would with a meatloaf. Or you can serve it with ketchup or not. Um, I just like that because usually when you have a corn dog, you put it with ketchup or mustard. Um, and then if you want, you can peel the paper off for the kids, um, but they do get a little crumbly, or you can let the kids do that. It's totally up to you. I sometimes will cut them up for the little kids, but like I said, they do get a little messy, but the kids absolutely love these. Um, it's a fun way to have hot dogs without them choking, and it's a fun way um, to incorporate like cornbread and that like warm comfort food in the winter especially um, or if you had like a carnival day or something you could do corn dog muffins for that try these with your daycare kids let me know if you enjoy them is your corn dog muffin yummy uh -huh. ah. <laughs> thumbs up <laughs> good job <laughs> there you go <laughs> If there's any other daycare related videos you guys want me to film, make sure you leave it in the comments and let me know if you try these. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.